I think it's going to look different. I'm going to be honest. I think the offense looks different this year. I don't think we're running the Princeton no more. I, I don't think that's happening again. I don't. I don't think it's happening. I've just got a. I've got a gut feeling that Bobby, like after watching the way the the postseason transpired, after seeing the way the Pac-12 and how Arizona State kind of fared in the conference at the tail end of the season, and really I guess when conference play started, I think he knows that something has to change offensively for this team to be competitive in a conference that is just dominant. That you is, systems. is you is just scary. have to run a system. Yeah. Yeah, you have to because, look, you're not going to beat Arizona consistently if you run what you've been running. You're not going to be able to hang with Houston that hangs their hat on defense. Like, you're not going to be able to keep up with Kansas the same way that you used to be able to keep up with Kansas. You're like, there are just so many Baylor, Iowa State. Like, there are just so many ridiculously talented teams and systems and coaches in this Big 12 conference, which don't get enough love, to, to, to really go about your, your upcoming season a a true on the hot seat season without changing something right we've seen in years past they've changed the rosters right and that's not necessarily like something maybe that bobby wanted to do year over year but in this era of college basketball it's kind of what you're forced to do so i think there will be a a certain level of change now i'm not saying it's going to be we're throwing everything that they did in the past in the trash Mm -hmm. regardless of what people may want to see but i do think there is going to be a little bit more like it's just going to be a is legit this just a system. feeling thing though yeah it is just a feeling yeah. this is just me sometimes houston i returns all five starters right huh houston returns all five starters no right? um no, what's his Sh- name? shed's gone yeah and and i think uh uh what's his face the transfer from baylor's gone too still though if they're able to keep three of the starting five from that team lj crier yeah, yeah, yeah. no crier might be back i don't know i haven't seen anything on crier i know the what's his name is gone though jamal shed yeah He's absolutely gone. Um, well, a guy we talked about on on Friday's show, Thursday's Friday's show, was Austin Mason, who mm. is just DJ Horn, but for Missouri State. Uh, he plays very similar to him. He visited ASU over the weekend as well, uh, so that would be really fun. And that's that's again, that's not a that's not a point guard. He, I mean, he had three point six to six per game, but he was not a point guard. He was more of a two. So, seventeen point five points a game, three or three, forty two point three. Do you want any more bigs? Because look, out of out of all of the the players that Arizona State has lost in the portal, I, I think I said it to you earlier today. The Bryant Stella Bungay one really, really hurts for me because it's you, you didn't necessarily get a whole lot of your bigs last year, but when he was in the game, he was a good depth big okay. in terms of crashing glass. I'm gonna say this try and try to be as respectful as possible. Okay. Um Bryant Stella Bungay was just a guy that tried really hard mm. with a with some good athleticism and, and small amounts of talent <laughs> respectfully like i think you and that 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 that's that's nothing against salabunga that's more to try to try to steer asu fans in a positive direction you can find guys like that you know who you have to find a guy that cares and wants it because mm. rebounding is such a want it thing yeah it takes skill you need to be able to jump you need some strength but at the end of the day if you want that orange pill you go grab it has enoch gotten to a new school yet you just you gotta go get the ball. <laughs> and and so at the end of the day, like that's not a huge loss because it's replaceable. Um it's not like Frankie, who is who is a unique player. Yeah. Like so that's a good way to, to describe it. I love unique. Or I I love unique. You love unique. I, I loved Brian Celebogay because he fucking cared. And he was sometimes the only pulse that this team had. But at the end of the day, as I said, like that's replaceable. And who knows? I mean, these these two big forwards that are coming in as freshmen are like Amir Ali can bounce. It's just does he want it? And, and is he going to put on some weight? I hope so. Yes, JJ. Alston Mason's really good. I want him. I want a lot of guys. Give me Alston Mason. Mason. Give me uh, St. Thomas. Give me a, a point guard by the name of Chris Paul. Kane Carlisle would be fun. JJ, come on. You guys are sickos. You guys really are sickos. <laughs>